everyone. Uh, today I got a bungalow flip again. You know how I like to beat up on those ones. Uh, they're, this one's about 80 years old. Uh, it's actually not too bad, but uh, let me show you some of the things I found. So item one right here, this is the temperature and pressure relief valve. Uh, the pipe became disconnected from the water heater and it's loose underneath the crawl space. Item number two, this is actually the primary drain line for the a AC unit. And this, if this isn't repaired or sent out further, this can cause movement across this pier right here and also it invites termites. Item number three is how the flashing's installed on the roof right here. Whenever you have hardy board, hardy plank, you, it's required to have kick out flashing right here. So it kicks the water out and it won't go behind the lower panels. Item number four is kind of hard to see. I'm running out of light here, uh, but you can see how the roof decking is starting to pull, pull up and it's actually starting to pit down here at the base. Item number five, we need to paint all the exterior flashing and actually caulk and seal all the storm collars on the exterior flues. All right, so for this last one, this one's kind of a touchy one. A lot of people contradict on this one, but I was taught by the manufacturer themselves. Whenever you have turbines on the top, you do not want a ridge vent. What's gonna happen is, is the turbine is gonna pull the ventilation right from the ridge vent instead of from the soffits on the below. So I actually am going to write this one up as a marginal ventilation. It's a small enough attic that it will still work, but it's still not installed properly. Or I'm losing some daylight here, but um, uh, that was some really good finds with Chris with the action. And if you have any home inspection questions, please uh, like, share, leave a comment, and uh, let's go. Let's go find those issues. Thanks. Bye.